Okay, so first off, we have to start off by vacuuming all the dust out of the computer. Uh, this is my fan that keeps my processor cool. And this, uh, it attaches to this giant tower that uh, says Cooler Master on there, but this tower is like a heat sink tower. It takes the all the intense heat that comes out of your processor and tries to distribute it by going all the way up like that and then you hook a fan to it and it blows it away. Those are hard drives on this side. So you can see I've got, I got a couple in there. In the middle at the top, there's a little teeny one, but you can't really see it. So uh, I just have one CD drive, DVD, Blu-ray, burner. It's a Panasonic 205, it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, it gets nice and dusty in these things, so I like to keep them clean. Not just because I like to, but it's 2015 and it's still running like a champ. That's because I keep it clean and it just stays running. So my silent 1000 watt power supply is modular. Um, what modular means is that Besides those couple cables right there, the rest of them are optional. You can plug them in or not plug them in. And so the reason why you'd want to do that is because most power, power supplies for a computer, they come with a bunch of cords. And if you can't take out the ones you're not using, then you have a bunch of cords inside of your case. So this little switch, you flick it to get your video card to come out. And uh, then you just kind of rock it a little bit and make sure all this all the screws are out and it'll come out. There we go. See even uh, some dust gets in here. So I'm taking apart my power supply and just cleaned it out and now I'm putting it back together. These are little uh, filters that go at the bottom of the case because it sucks in air from the bottom for the case to keep cool. And it also sucks in air from, well it blows out air from the top. See so it's got all that. They just snap back in like that. So you need a really long screwdriver if you want to uh, get under your cooler master tower thing. So I took all those screws out with that long screwdriver, and this just pops out like that. That's what keeps the the pressure uh, of that tower so it doesn't tip over gonna get this thing nice and clean and you'll see all that gray stuff on the bottom that's this thermal compound and that's what lets the heat from the processor transfer up to the other piece and kind of go away that's your processor that does all your thinking for your computer it gets really really hot so you that's you really want to make sure this thing stays cool so Literally every 90 days or less, I'll take this part, and put some new gel on it, and keep it clean. Or compound or whatever. So these are memory. So. That black, you know, design across the top is just like the heatsink tower, it, it keeps the heat out of there. So this is a, this will take that, that compound off. This is the remover liquid. So you just put it on there and start rubbing it around and it loosens this stuff up because this stuff gets really, it gets 
If it's really old, if you've never done this before, and you or you have like a um, a computer that came from the factory, uh, then you're gonna notice really really hard black stuff on there that's hard to get off. So this this will make it come off really easy. So this is my uh, AMD processor, and if you can see, it says 2009, and uh, it's got six cores in it, and it's still faster than ever. So this is the like a preparing gel or liquid. So you put this on there, and it gets it ready for some new paste. So I'm just going to wipe it clean with this guy real quick. So yeah, we just put some on here. And then you want to spread it out really good. So I like to do half on the bottom and the other half on the top, that way I've got pretty good coverage of the whole the whole processor, because you, you really don't want any air gaps. You want to make sure you have a nice smooth surface, and that'll just take the heat from one to the other and get it out of there. So uh, before I put that tower back in there, it's going to be really hard to put memory sticks in when with see where my hand is. Yeah, that's right. It would be kind of hard to do that. So I'm going to do the memory real quick before we put that tower back on. So you just have to click this back into place and then it has a little pin that you got to line up. But yeah, each each piece that you see here is from a different place. <laughs> I ordered them all separately over time until I got enough pieces to build it. But yeah, it's, it's an amazing steel case that keeps this setup nice and cool and my computer can run nice and happy for hours. And years. Yes, it's been several years now, so I'm proud of this thing. So these are called thumb screws. Um, they're really easy to, you know, you don't need a, a screwdriver. Which, so I try and put them in as many places on my case as possible because I take it apart a lot. So there, the power cord comes with two different types of power because some some motherboards use all squares and some use like you just seen where it had like two squares and then two little house shaped things. So yeah, you just plug those in and it, it, motherboards usually have two of them. They have a small one and then that big one for the power. And then you put the this is the video card. You just click it into the PCI Express slot and now I gotta put the top of my case back on next thing is uh, these are power cords so I have two separate power um, ports in the back of my video card uh, just to give it extra power so it, if it needs it it can it can have it right away so you just plug those in. Since they're modular, that means you can just plug them into the back of the power supply. 
And for instance, if I didn't have a nice video card like that, then this power supply is cool because I wouldn't need to use either of those cords. And they wouldn't just be stuck in my case somewhere taking up room. Okay, so now it's ready to stand up. That's about it. Um, and you just put the case back on. I'm done. Ta -da. And now my computer is done, guys. And that's about how long it takes to clean a computer. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you all again soon. If you like it, click that thumbs up. Please subscribe and come back and see me.